exercise 8, insert a graphic as background to the slide master. Part of the PowerPoint 2007 exam prep guide brought to you by Shift Key Solutions. In this short exercise, we'll be looking at the steps involved in applying an image to the background of our slideshow using the slide master view. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to come to our view tabs and then over in the presentation views we're going to click slide master. That changes our view to the slide master view and from here we're going to take a quick look at what we're looking at over here. This is our master slide or slide master itself. Below the slide master are all of the layouts available to choose from in this slideshow. As you can see this one is the comparison layout this one here is the two content layout. My screen tip tells me what it is. The screen tip for this tells me this is the section header layout and this one's the title and content layout, meaning that if I wanted to format or modify a specific layout, I can have that selected, make those changes, and then save it. That way I don't have to modify the entire slide layouts that are available. I can do specific ones individually. So, needless to say, from here, we're going to notice that our ribbon has changed as well. Currently, I'm on Slide Master tab. And then another thing to point out is that if I'm on my Home tab or any one of these other tabs that are also available in Normal View, I might get lost here while in Slide Master view. The way I want to verify as to what view I'm in, I'm going to look in the bottom left corner here, it's going to tell me what view. It's slide master view. It tells me this, the screen tip tells me current, currently in slide master view. So, needless to say, we're going to come back to our slide master tab and here in our background group, we're going to click our background style. And then down here, I'm going to click on format background. This opens my format background dialog box. Now with my fill tab selected, I'm going to make sure that my picture or textures fill is selected. This is a radio button here. And then I'm going to come down to the insert from and choose file. And then the one I want to choose is the corridor image here. I'm going to click insert and I can see a live preview of it in the background. Well, that's rather rich and, and deep. It would be rather distracting. I want to subdue that a little bit and make it more of a watermark. The way I do this is come to my transparency bar here and I'm going to click and drag and I want to and I want to change my transparency to 90 percent. So I can use my scroll bar here to do it or I can simply click inside this box and type in 90 percent and then I'm going to click apply to all when I click apply to all it applies this background to all of the slides available to include my slide master from there I'm gonna click close there it is now to exit out of this and get back to my normal view I'm gonna to come to my close group and click close master view there it is from here I'm gonna save my work here using this bar the name of this bar is I don't remember. Do you guys remember? Do you remember? That's right. This is my quick access toolbar. So I'm going to click my save button. It saves my work. And that concludes exercise 8. Insert a graphic as background to Slide Master. Next will be exercise 9. Adjusting theme fonts.